Hi, this is Alexandra at Beataholic here to show you how to use memory wire to make pendants and connectors. So what I have here is some ring-sized flat memory wire in the gold plate. I've got some 22 gauge hematite artistic wire and you can see that I've used these in this inner earth necklace piece where I've made a pendant frame and some matching connectors and wire wrapped them with the craft wire. So I'd like to show you how to do that. For that, I'm gonna use these tools. I've got my memory wire cutters and some regular flush cutters, my round and flat pliers. I'm gonna start by taking a, about a round and a quarter of the memory wire. This is for the pendant. And then I'm gonna wrap an outward facing loop on each side here. And I'll grip kind of at the center of my tool, right at the tip of the wire, bending outward on either side. There we go. Go ahead and squeeze these flush. Now if I were Putting it onto my chain, I would go ahead and do that before I closed them. All right, and I'll go ahead and cut it 12 inches, actually more, more like 15 inches for the pendant. 15 inches, for the 22 gauge wire. And I'll begin at about the same point I did on the necklace. It's, it's your choice where you wanna wrap from and how much of the memory wire you wanna cover. So I'll get that tied on and I'm gonna grip it with my flat plier to give myself a good hold in this can be tough on the fingers when you're gripping, especially with the flat memory wire, so it's nice to have the tool to help. I'll go ahead and cover the frame. Getting my coils nice and tight together. <clears throat> good for the project because of the coating on it. Gives a nice uh, stick. Keeps it in form. It's good to find a creative alternative use for memory wire. Too. I was excited to discover a way to make forms without needing hard wire that I had to hammer. It keeps its shape really well. And it's also pretty inexpensive, economical. You could also do this with the different sizes of the memory wire. You could use bracelet size if you wanted to make a larger pendant. And this is designer's choice here. I'm gonna go back over my first wrap with a looser one to create kind of a natural, relaxed look. I'm evenly spacing those wraps around. And in this case, down here on the necklace, I left a little bit of an opening at intervals on these bottom portion of the loop and strung on my wraps. So that's another design idea for creating dangles. One 
once I'm done, I'm going to clip and tuck. And there you have your pendant. And for the connector now, I'm going to cut about three quarters of a loop. And I'm going to do that again with my memory wire cutter. And again, I'll grip along the edge of the wire with the middle of my tool, creating an outward facing loop. Same technique, just with a different size of the wire. Squeezing flush. And for this size, I'm going to cut about eight inches of the wire, craft wire. And like I did here for the design, I'll start the wrap right up top to get the whole thing covered. Leave a bit of a tail, and that way it gives me a nice grip. And I'll coil tight, and then come back over like I did. Another design idea here might be, as you bring each round over, put a bead on and then coil, a bead on and then coil, you could create a nice line of beads around the edge. That's one idea. And you could use the silver memory wire if you wanted with a different tone of craft wire on top. Now it looks like I didn't quite leave enough wire. I mean, I left enough for a couple wraps, but not as many as I might want. So here's an opportunity to add more wire. And I'll cut a longer length for myself to use. So here's how you can add extra wire if you need to. I'm gonna tuck the edge the first one tight. And here's where this craft wire is really good is because it, it definitely just sticks itself on there and keeps its shape nicely. I'm not worried it's gonna come off. So I'll start my next round, same way I did before. Leave a little tail for grip and come back over. Once I've got my links on there, I will tuck and clip each side. There we go. And that's how to make pendant and connector out of the ring-sized flat memory wire. You can find all these materials at beadaholic.com. Thanks for watching.